Hi, in this video we are going to implement a simple calculator using C programming language. We are going to give two integer inputs from our command line and choose required operation from given options like addition, subtraction, multiplication or division like that and get the required output from the command line. So we'll start implementing our calculator. We'll start from the main function. No matter how many functions you implement outside of the main function, if you need to execute them, you have to call them in the main function. So here in our code, we are going to give a message to enter the number 1, enter number 2, like that. So first, we are going to give the message to enter number 1. Printf, enter number 1. And then, we are going to get the number 1 using the scanf function. We are going to get that input from the command line as a user input. As you know, to use the input for our further operations, we have to save it in a variable. So, here we are declaring a variable. Since it should be an integer, we are declaring an integer variable int num1. You can give the variable name whatever you want. Here I am using num1. And... Then what we have to do is simply get in that input using scanf function. Since it's an integer, we give this symbol to get it as an integer and then the variable address. To get to know variable addresses and this and sign, you can simply refer my video on C programming video series about the variable addresses. Then you can get what it is. So we are moving to the next input just like the previous one we can get the number 2 also. Here we have to declare another variable number 2 and get the number 2 from the command line. Now we have taken number 1 num and number 2. That means we have taken the two inputs then we will display the options that the user can do with those numbers like addition subtraction multiplication division like that so we have to get the users option isn't it for that we have to take another input also but before we have to know what kind of input is it for that we are giving the user the options we can offer then the user can choose their option after user providing that option we can do the particular operation for the user so, using a printf function, we are displaying the options we can offer. Printf. So, what does it say? If you need to add those two numbers, you can simply enter 1. Else, if you need to subtract, you can enter number 2 like that. So, we are getting the choice. We need to get the choice. For that, we have to put another scanf. And also we have to declare another variable to get the choice. I am uh, getting the variable name as choice. And I am getting the choice. For clarity, I will put another printf here. Enter your choice. Now what we have to do is to handle these choices. That means invoking the relevant operation according to the user's choice. Invoking the relevant function. For that, we can use a switch. You might know for conditional statements we can use if else switch in C programming language. But when there are more conditions to consider, it is simple to use switch. If you are already experienced with if else condition, you may understand and you may recognize it is easier to use a switch in a situation like this because there are four choices to consider and also there's another one. So I am using a switch here. We switch with that variable name because our choice is in this variable name. This variable contains a number 1 to 4. Or if the user not understood well on our choices, he may input some another number. So we have to handle that. If the user entered number 1, we get it as case 1. Then we have to call a function to add these numbers this function is not yet implemented we are going to implement it after this 
since we are going to implement this add function outside the main function the add function do not know where the inputs are so we have to pass the inputs as parameter values so here we are passing the inputs got at the console num1 and num2 case 2 subtract I name these uh, functions according to my preference you can put a name whatever you like as these function names then if we consider the other cases case 3 is to multiply I'll take it as mult case 4 is divide and if the case is not 1 2 3 or 4 we have to handle that situation also case means the choice if the user input is not 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 we have to give a default case like this default is a keyword default we'll give a printf that the user input is invalid invalid input this is the new line character yes there's another thing to consider in a switch if we didn't put a break after this operation switch will going to consider these operations too we don't need to consider these operations if, if it is a case one then also if, if we we don't need to consider the other situations if it is case two like that so for that I have to put a break after the operation we call you may hear a noise it is raining for us uh, yes actually now I'm done with my main function you can see my main function if i execute it now it will uh, occur compilation errors because these functions are not yet implemented add subtract mark divide because of that so now we are going to implement our functions because our functions are implemented outside the main function they don't know what are the inputs so we have to pass the inputs at the main function when they are calling since they are called with the values the functions should be implemented with the parameters to fit those values here you can see we are passing we are always passing two numbers two integers so we have to implement our functions as to taking two integers as parameters so first i'm going to implement add function with two parameters you know why i am taking two parameters because i am here passing two numbers to get those two numbers we have to implement the function with two integer parameters also in each function i am going to display the result using a printf since i am not going to return any value and just print the value using a printf function return type of the add function should be void void add int a int b you can use whatever the name you want for these parameter names when calling the add function at the main function we pass num1 and num2 in this order so these parameters take those values in the same order so number one num1 goes to int a num2 goes to int b so inside the function if we print a it will print number one if we print b it will print number two because when the function is invoked using these values those values are assigned to these parameters in the same order we are going to print the result printf since a and b are integers you know mathematically that a plus b also should be an integer so that our output is an integer a plus b result i'm printing it with this label result also a new line in the same way we can implement other functions to subtract for subtract we have to print a minus b for multiply i just put the function name as mult here so i am implementing the function with the name mult and result is a into b and here it is divide a divided by b and here mathematically you know there is an exceptional case in integer division what happens if you divide an integer with zero it is an undefined situation so we have to handle that how should we handle that we can simply use an if clause to check whether b is zero if b is zero we can simply give the user a message that 
the operation cannot be done else we can produce the output since here it's only one condition to be checked and another one is the else case so here we can use the if condition in the previous situation also we can use if condition but for simplicity and for the ease of use i used switch case there and i'm using if here if b equal to 0 given a printf can't divide from 0 if it is not the case else i can produce the output here another thing is if we get the division of two integers it is not an integer for all the time for most of the cases it is a float value so here we can get it as a float value but we have to do a type cast so here i'm casting this value to a float so the result will be printed as a float value printf the result so now i'm going to execute my program first we have to compile it there's a spelling mistake subtract yeah it got compiled yes for number one i'll give eight for number two i'll give nine That's a mistake. As the choice, I am giving addition. For addition, I have to give the choice as 1. You can see that result is 17. That is 8 plus 9. The correct value for 8 plus 9. For subtraction, I will give two numbers as 88 and 90. It will subtract number 2 from number 1. Option 2 is for subtract. Yes, result is minus 2. So, it's okay. So, I am giving number 80 as number 1, 25 as number 2 and choose division. So, the result is printed like that. For multiplication also, if we give 4 for number 1, 6 for number 2, for multiplication, the result is 24, which is the correct answer. So, in this way, we can implement a calculator. Also, you may think that there's a mess because whenever we need to go to the next operation, again, we have to execute the code. You can extend this code for that next level. Definitely, you can do that. What you have to do is just to follow the loops in C programming language. There are two videos for, for loops and while loops in my C programming video series. You can just follow that or you can follow whatever on loops in C programming and you can just try for that. That's all for now and thank you for watching. Good luck.